Emerging from the gloom of Portsmouth Harbour at dawn, RFA Cardigan Bay entered her first British port for three years. A few days ago, the ship and her crew had been in 25 degree heat in the Arabian Gulf. Unlike most homecomings, there weren't the crowds of families and friends welcoming her home. That's because although the ship's been away for years, the crew hasn't. It continually rotates, with most serving around four months at a time. Cardigan Bay had a two-fold role in the Gulf. On the one hand, she was there to support coalition units stationed in the area. Her other function was to train Iraqi Navy and Marines personnel. The ship is well capable. With our dock flooded down, we've been able to provide them with, with training to uh, come alongside ships and also to use our dock. Um, so from that point of view, um, that was a primary aim. We've also been involved in working with the Navy patrol boats out in the, in the Gulf, uh, as well as providing a, a logistic support base for all the operations that have been taking around in the northern Arabian Gulf. Cardigan Bay travelled over 70,000 miles during her three years at sea, conducting 24 patrols of the North Arabian Gulf. Many of the crew served aboard for several spells during those years. Working alongside all our forces, Army, Marines, Navy, is very exciting. And you learn to appreciate exactly what they do, and they learn to appreciate what we do. Ships deployed for a long time, um, doing a, an essential task and demonstrating um, all the versatility you get from um, these lo big logistic ships um, and, and our very well-trained guys who can turn their hand to just about anything to do with ships. After a short spell here in Portsmouth, the Cardigan Bay will go to Marchwood to unload vehicles picked up in Cyprus. Then it's training and then redeployment in April. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Portsmouth Navy Base.